In this video, I'll talk about uh, some of the naming conventions and rules for naming variables when you're writing a Java class. So I've created a, a new class called Variable Name Rules. Uh, really kind of boring, actually, but OK. Uh, and I'm going to create a string variable. And remember, we can call it anything we want. I could just go string x equals, and then I'll set it equal to um, dog. Okay, so it's string x equal to dog, and of course, remember, we can just output x, and it's not going to print the letter x because there's no quotation marks. It's going to print whatever is stored into that variable x, and uh, I run this, uh, it will output dog. Now, we have to go over some rules here for what we can and cannot do when we name our, our variables. So x was fine. Actually, it can be it can be just about anything you want. So there's some things we have to understand, though. Let's say that um, I wanted to call it my dog. Well, I cannot have spaces. Okay? I cannot do my dog like this and have spaces. So it's kind of one major rule here uh, that you have to remember. It can't have spaces. Okay, that's one thing you can't do, no spaces. Now, if you, you just have to have a space, or maybe your, your uh, variable name, you want to have two words, like my dog. Okay, now, I have an error down here because it doesn't know what x is, but I could change that to my dog if I wanted to. But typically, when you have two words here, there's two ways to handle it. Now, one way, and I know a lot of people like to do underscore, so my underscore dog, uh, it can be used because the underscore is really the only symbol that's allowed when we declare variables. Now, I'm going to tell you that's actually something that I would prefer that you stay away from because it's probably not as standard to do it that way. Uh, but I'll note it, underscore is the only allowed symbol. Okay, so you can't use like an asterisk or a minus sign or a dash or a hyphen or anything like that. It would just be that. Now, the more standard way to do it, uh, if you have want two words to show up as your um, variable name, is to go my, but then to capitalize the second word like this, my dog. And that actually would be more of a standard way to do it, where you would simply um, lowercase to start, that, that's correct, lowercase to start, and then just uppercase each new word. And of course, if I wanted to print that, I can go my dog, just like that, call the variable, and run this class, and it will output the word dog. So when you have more than one word, typically what you want to do is you want to start with a lowercase and then uppercase the new words. So I'll make a note hit here on that. Uh, start lowercase and uh, uppercase new words. Okay, this would be another way to do it. That would be kind of your standard convention for naming variables. Now, some of the things you have to know about naming here, uh, you cannot start your variable with a number. And I know sometimes that can irritate programmers because it's like, oh, I'd like to call this one dog, two dog, three dog, or whatever. You cannot start with a number. I can't name it one my dog. I see all the errors pop up here quickly. Okay, this error is just saying that you can't you can't do that. Uh, you can't start with the one. Uh, I could do my dog one, and there's nothing wrong with that. My dog one would be okay. That's fine. Now the error that shows up, remember, is that I'm trying to print my dog, and the, the computer is saying I don't see that variable anywhere. I need to correct that by putting my dog one there. That's all good. Okay, so numbers you have to be a little bit careful with. It's fine. Um, let's say I added a second string variable and I called it my dog two, and that's all good. I can do that. And my dog two is called. This is gonna sound strange, but let's just say cat. Okay, so my dog two is called cat. And remember, I could add an output statement here. Oops, sorry about that. And instead of actually printing the word cat, I could print my dog too. Now I know that my dog too is longer and more typing than the word cat, but we want to store variables so we can access them later, and it really is a major, major part of programming here. So um, let's see, what else can I add to our list here? Uh, we need to keep in mind that when we are talking about uh, numbers, Okay, you can use numbers. They're fine. Numbers are fine. Uh, it just can't start with a number. That's very important. 
Okay, it can't start with the number. It's very important there. You can have numbers in your variable name, just can't start with it. Okay. Um, now, other things uh, covered is okay, you can't have spaces. You can have numbers in it, but it can't start with a number. The underscore is the only symbol that's allowed, but honestly, I preferably avoid it. Uh, and if you have multi-word variable names, which you will see frequently, is typically you start with the lowercase and then all the, the other words go uppercase. Um, the only thing is there are certain words that, you, that you're not allowed to use as a variable name. So they are, would be called reserved words or Java words. Uh, and you can see some of them on the screen like now, right now, like public and static and void, see how they're blue. Those have significant meaning in Java. The word class has specific meaning. So if I were to try to call another or create another uh, string variable uh, called it, that would be fine, equals uh, monster. And that's no issue. But see here, it's not a reserved word. There's no problems there. But if I were to decide, well, I'm going to call my string variable class. Okay, I'm going to call it class. And now I get all these errors that pop up. It pops up because class is a reserved word, a word that actually has meaning to Java. It's blue, which is a warning sign that it's a reserved word. So like package and public and class, static, void, these words, you can't use them. Uh, when it comes to naming a variable that word. Now, there's no way for you to know right away what all of the reserved words are, but you'll find out that sometimes if you uh, name a variable and you get an error, that it, it changes color in my case, and that's just a warning sign that, hey, you're using a reserved word that you're not allowed to use. So that summarizes pretty much what you need to know about uh, naming variables. And just keep these notes in mind. They're very, very important. And just so you have reference, I will add here, you can't use reserve words, uh, Java reserved words. And again, there's no way to give you that extensive list. You just have to keep that in mind as not to use words that you see in the, the programs that we're writing that actually have meaning to Java.